everybody, welcome back to Daily Easy English Expression. Oh, wait, we have a nice expression today. It is an axe to grind. An axe to grind. What is an axe? A X. That's the American spelling. An axe is, you know, that it's a piece of wood and then some metal. A long time ago, stone. And they would have the metal at the end, and, and you can chop down a tree. You can, you can chop down a tree with an axe, right? But the important thing about an axe is the axe head. So I'll draw a quick picture. Oh, my goodness. This is from uh, DDM. Are you a member of DDM? If you're not a member of DDM, you should join. Hello. Uh, so anyway, this is the axe handle. And this would be the axe head. I don't know if they look like that, but something like that. You understand, right? You, you hold on here and boom, 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 you cut down a tree. That's the idea. But the important thing is with this axe head, once again, this is called the axe head, H-E-A-D. You need to keep this very sharp. You have to keep it sharp. So how do you keep it sharp? With a grind stone with a grind stone and there are many different types of grindstones anyway the idea is there's a stone and it spins and then you take this axe and you hold it against the stone and it will sharpen the axe okay so now you understand about the axe and now you understand grind grind the axe makes make the axe sharp and if the axe is sharp it's very dangerous it could kill hopefully just cut down uh trees or something like that anyway an axe to grind i have an axe to grind with you is a great expression and it's actually very old it's a very old english expression there are two typical meanings um and one of them is basically you do something for a private or a personal gain. You do something for a, a, a gain. So the idea is I should not ask my mom about my Uncle John because my mom doesn't like Uncle John. They had a fight. So if I ask about Uncle John, when's Uncle John's birthday? What does he like for his birthday? My mom probably won't tell me anything nice. I don't know when his birthday is. He likes, he likes dirt for his birthday. She might say, so I could say, why is my mom saying such mean things about Uncle John? It's, it's her uncle, what's, what's wrong? Well, now I, we, we might assume my mom has an ax to grind with Uncle John. She's telling me misinformation because she's angry at John. She has a personal private reason for not giving me the, uh, the, the truth. This is the idea. This sounds kind of complicated. Um, another idea is if I say I have an ax to grind with you, that means you did something or said something about me that I didn't like and I want to get revenge. I want to argue with you. I want to make sure you know you did something wrong. I have an ax to grind with you. I am mad at you. That is a very typical usage. But I prefer the other usage. And, Check out the dialogue and you'll see what I mean, hopefully. Why did Bob suddenly say mean things about Sally? Oh, uh, he has an ax to grind. Why? What happened? Well, someone told me that Sally was saying that Bob has bad breath. <laughs> Ah, yeah. So at the company, some situation, you know, person A says something bad about person B. And then later, person B hears that bad information. And person B is angry at person A. So person B has an axe to grind with person A. So he could go and attack and have a fight. Or he could just say bad things about that person. 
Why is he saying bad things? He has an ax to grind. This is the idea. Um, this is actually a very useful expression when it comes to politics and business and policy writing too. Um, let's say you're, you want uh, a report from one of your employees, or maybe your boss wants a report from you. Let's say they want to know about the diamond business. Should your company invest in diamonds? And personally, you hate the diamond business because you know lots of slave labor is used in getting the, the diamonds and the people who live in the countries with diamonds are very poor. So you hate that business. You think it's terrible and disgusting. But your boss asks you to write a report, should we invest in the diamond business or not? And then you write the report. So think about it. Are you going to write a report that is positive about the diamond business or is negative about the diamond business? You're going to write a report that's negative because you have an ax to grind with the diamond industry. If you already have an opinion, a negative opinion, if you don't like something, that's an ax to grind. You have a problem with those people. So if somebody asks you about the diamond business, you're going to say bad things because you have an ax to grind. But somebody else might say good things. Oh my God, the diamond business is fantastic. More and more people are getting jobs. The standard of living is increasing. And a diamond is such a symbol of love around the world. It's beautiful. It's a great thing. Plus, in technology, they use diamonds in many ways to help advance our world. So the economy is getting better. The people are getting true. So this person is saying nice things, but you're saying negative things. Both of you are right. But the person who has an ax to grind is going to give you a biased story. Does, does that make sense? They're going to put their opinion into the story and they're going to change the facts. So back to my mom. Mom, Uncle John's birthday is when? I don't know. Uh, I think it's June 15th. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Um... What does John like? I want to get him a present. He doesn't like anything. Get him some tomatoes. Tomatoes for his birthday? He likes tomatoes. What's wrong with my mom? Why is she giving me bad information about Uncle John? Aha, she must have an ax to grind with Uncle John. Okay, does this make sense? Yeah, if you're still watching this video, Good job, good job. This is a good expression, but it's it might be pretty difficult to use. However, surprisingly, it's used a lot in daily English. Google it and you'll see lots of examples. Go to Google News uh, and you'll see lots of examples of an ax to grind. An ax to grind, that's all you need to Google and then use the Google News uh, area and you'll see lots of great examples. I hope uh, you understand. After more and more examples, you will understand. Yeah, that's it. Uh, this is a big holiday weekend in America, so I may not have a video for a day or two. Um, just letting you know. I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. But don't be mad if I don't. We're getting close to 1,000. We're getting very, very close. This is what? 989. Oh, my goodness. Getting close to 1,000. I don't know what to do after that. Uh, many of you are telling me, go, keep more, 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 more. Uh, but remember, I have other YouTube channels. I have the podcasts. So, yeah, we'll see. We, we will see. We shall see. Check out the website, www.letsmasterenglish.com. Join DDM. Look at this stuff. Really good stuff. I erased it. Man, that was just one part of a great lesson. Join DDM. And Perf. Perf is for speaking. Do you do you want to, to speak like uh, Americanski? I don't know what the hell that was. But if you want to learn how to speak like an American, you want to work on your pronunciation, intonation, 
rhythm and flow, then you need to join PERF. That's my speaking class. That's it. Dialogue three more times. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you when I see you next. Bye-bye. Why did Bob suddenly say mean things about Sally? Oh, uh, he has an axe to grind. Why? What happened? Well, someone told me that Sally was saying that Bob has bad breath. <laughs>